everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Efren, AKA Passpoint One Comics. And um, first of all, whomever watches these videos, you know, I always appreciate it. If you're a first time viewer, thank you very much. If you're one of my regular subscribers, whomever watches my videos, it means a lot to me. I do videos regarding comic books, but it's a big passion of my life. And I just like showing um, videos to people. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy this video. <laughs> and all the other ones too. Um, so I do a monthly video where I show books that they're called preview books and they're coming out. You can order them now, but they're basically coming out in July. And I normally, you know, go through all the books to see which ones I like. Um, sometimes, you know, I miss some because it's such a tedious task sometimes trying to pick and choose which books. But since I started doing these videos, I've been paying more and more attention on the actual books that are coming out instead of just flipping through them really quick. And I may miss some, like I miss Nottingham, <laughs> I miss ENIAC, and there's some really great books out there, but there's so many and sometimes it's just hard to choose. I'm not gonna tell you obviously which ones to pick, that's your own decision, but hopefully by looking at this video, you'll be able to get a better idea of what you like. So without much further ado, let's get going. Uh, let me lower my screen here push myself over to the side. Uh, first up is Marvel Comics. This is The Amazing Spider-Man number 71. Um, like I said, these books are coming out in July, from basically July um, 1st to the 31st. And since these books are advanced orders, a lot of times the other covers, if there are other covers or subsequent covers to these books are just not available right now. So right now, only the main cover is available and by the time you're done ordering these books, usually the cutoff is every month, by the end of the month. Some of these other covers, they just may not be available. So you're not exactly sure what the cover looks like, obviously, so you have to make that determination whether you wanna choose it or not. So um, next up, we have Daredevil number 32. This is a continuation where Elektra has taken over the mantle of Daredevil. Um, she's in Hell's Kitchen because Matt Murdock, Daredevil, is still incarcerated and you know she's just on his behalf, on his honor to you know his legacy, she's, she has become Daredevil. It's a really good storyline. I really recommend buying it or reading it. Um, I like this story a lot. Next up, we have Marauders number 22. Uh, only the main cover is available right now. This is um, Star Wars The High Republic number seven, main cover. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 28, just the main cover. It looks like it's the variant cover is gonna be a Captain America 80th um, anniversary variant, I'm assuming. Um, this cover with Miles though, looks like he's being thrown off a roof and to me on top, this person on top almost looks like Spider-Man. But we shall see. Um, I, oh, I already did this one, <laughs> so let me skip it. Next up is Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. Uh, Star Wars number 15. Just the main cover is available. But I do like this cover. It has Luke, Boba Fett, um, Chewbacca, looks like Princess Leia, and Lando on the cover. So I think it's a pretty cool looking cover. Aliens number 5. Main cover, and it looks like they have a variant available to view. Gian Giordano variant. There's a lot of books I'm gonna go through, basically from A through Z. This is Iron Man number 10. Alex Ross, I already like his covers. I mean, it's a cool looking cover here of Iron Man. Um, Beta Ray Bill number five. Black Widow, number nine. Now another Alex Ross cover. Star Wars, Dr. Afra number 12. Looks like it has Dr. Afra um, and uh, Boba Fett. Boba Fett, sorry, <laughs> on the cover. Next we have 
Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters number two. This is the main cover. I like this cover. I think I might get this one. It has Boba, um, Han Solo here, and Jabba the Hutt. And here's our cover number two. It's a Christopher Action figure variant. Next up we have Moon Knight number one. It's a new series. Um, hopefully it's a good series. Um, I know the Netflix, I'm um, Netflix, sorry. Uh, Disney Plus is gonna be coming out with a series of Moon Knight to see how that one is. This is a John Romita Jr. Virgin variant. And this is a Zafino variant. As you can tell, all these other ones that are basically in blue, um, they're just not available yet. This one's gonna be a Scotty Young variant, I think, because this is Young variant. So even though you don't see anything here, I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> so it's a Scotty Young book. Uh, next up we have Shang-Chi number uh, three. I like this cover uh, because if, you, if you, anybody doesn't know who, those, who these three claws are, there's a hint on his wristband, you see a reflection of the character right there. Next, we have Extreme Carnage Alpha number one. Here's a uh, one of the variants of that cover. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger. Here we go. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, Jabba the Hutt number one. <laughs> the main cover. And here is a uh, variant cover. My computer would work for it. Here we go. Good old Jabba. Extreme Carnage Scream number one. Amazing Fantasy number one. Here's a Bianchi Hidden Gem variant. Um, Extreme Carnage Phage or number one, the main cover. Here's um, David Nakayama design variant. Aliens Aftermath, number one. Symbiote Spider-Man, Crossroads, number one. It looks like this artist is Greg Land. Sometimes you look at covers so much that I have throughout the years and decades, you just automatically know who the artist is. Nine times out of 10. <laughs> so. Next, we have Get this out of the way. These are DC books. It's a little bit more difficult finding DC books since they're not part of preview anymore. I have to go to a different site to find them. So this is Batman Adventures. Cat got your tongue. Uh, Superman Action Comics number uh, 1033 cover A. Batman 110 cover B is a jock card stock variant. Batwoman, Catwoman special number one, one shot cover C by Bill Senkowitz. I don't have all the covers of DC because like I said, it was just difficult finding a good site that has them all like this one that I'm using um, for my other books that I'm, that I'm showing. Batman Urban Legends um, cover A by David Finch. Catwoman 33 cover B, a Jenny Frizon card stock variant. I'm definitely gonna pick up this book. This these covers by Jenny Frizon, they're just outstanding in my opinion. Um, the Conjuring, the Lover. Um, DC Horror presents The Conjuring, the Lover, number one, cover A by Bill Senkowitz. Icon and Rocket season number season one, number one. Nightwing number 82. Robin number four, cover B by Francis Manapool, cardstock variant. I wanna pick this one up. I think it's a cool looking cover. Shazam number one, cover B. Superman 
son of Kalel, uh, number one. This is Jonathan Kent, has experienced a lot in his young life. He's basically taking over Superman, or I believe so, by the look at this cover. For how long? We'll see. <laughs> Unearthed, uh, a Jessica Cruz story. Jessica Cruz, who those who don't know, is a Green Lantern. And this is a story of part of her past, I believe. Wonder Woman number three, cover A by Joelle Jones. Uh, by Image Comics, Crossover, number eight. I don't know how long Crossover is going on. I thought it was going to be a limited series, but it's still being, um, obviously the books are still coming out, so this is cover eight. Uh, the Department of Truth, number 11. This is the main cover. Here's cover B. And this is uh, an exclusive by Izzy Comics, uh, Connecting Set Cover C. So I, I don't believe it's gonna, you can order it regularly through previews. You have to go to Izzy's Comics to purchase this book. Noctera number five. Here's cover B. Geiger number four, main cover. Radiant Black number six. Let's see what's next. Silver Coin number four. This is the main cover. And here is cover B. Homesick Pilots number seven. Um, this is a good story. I've been reading it. You know, it's recommended by yours truly. Um, basically, it's this haunted house where these teenagers go and one of them gets possessed by the house, so to speak, and she's kind of half alive and half dead, but she has to do certain tasks on the house's behalf, and it goes from there. I really, I'm really I'm enjoying this story. It's a good storyline. Philadelphia number 15. Um, these are all still by image, and here's another good storyline that I've been reading from the beginning. Basically, if Philadelphia was overtaken by vampires, and it's called Philadelphia. Ink Blot number 10, uh, Image Comics still. Siphon uh, number one. If it's a number one, I'm most likely gonna pick it up. Like I said, I've just been missing the boat on some books. I just gotta make the determination of how many of this cover I'm going to get. Man Eaters, The Curse number one, another number one which I'm gonna get. Um, here's main cover. And this is cover B. Mom, Mothers of Madness, number one. It's a weird looking cover, but it's a number one. So, you know, what I previously said, I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, next one up is Ordinary Gods, number one. Looks like Image is coming out with quite a few number ones this month. Orderable number ones this month. Like I said, these books are coming out in July. Something is Killing the Children, number 18. Um, if some, hopefully you've been reading Something is Killing the Children. The first arc recently ended, and this is like the history of the main character, Erica. I believe it's going to show how she became um, this person, so to speak. Next, we have Proctor Valley Road, number 5. This is by Boom Studios. Main cover. Now cover B. Uh, next we have Eve number three by Boom Studios. Um, number one just came out last week and I've been hearing some pretty good reviews on it. I haven't read it yet, but I do plan to. Uh, Dark Blood number one. And here is cover B. All right, we're getting there. Um, next up is Mammo number one. Just one cover. WWE, The New Day, Power of Positivity, number one. Only the main cover is available right now to view. Um, with these covers that don't show um, the variant covers, you have to make that determination whether you want to buy it or not. Sometimes they come out before. Um, you can order, like I said, these are books that are coming out in July. 
Um, they're orderable right now in May, but there's a cutoff. And during that cutoff of those covers, if they're still not available, you know, us as um, buyers have to make the determination whether we want to pick up the book or not. Uh, Jenny Zero, number four, Dark Horse. Tales from Harrow County Fair Folk, number one, main cover. And here is um, cover B. I've been telling myself when there's long titles or long artist name to take my time when I read them so I don't mess up the words at the very beginning. <laughs> so hopefully I'm, I'm gonna keep on doing that. Uh, next up we have Gru meets Tarzan number one, uh, still Dark Horse Comics. I mean, come on, Gru meets Tarzan, I'm buying this book. <laughs> I don't care what the storyline is, but these two iconic characters are meeting up, I guess for the first time, I'm there. <laughs> next up we have um, IDW Publishing, Star Wars, The High Republic Adventures, number six. Now, like I said, this is IDW, it's not Marvel. IDW has, has some rights to um, Star Wars, and they have their own book that comes out once a month. Um, My Little Pony, Transformers, The Magic of Cybertron, number four. My Little Ponies, Transformers, I mean, it's a match made in heaven. Gotta buy this book. Next up, we have The Walking Dead number 19, uh, Skybound. The original series ended, uh, whoever's read it knows that it ended. Those covers um, inside the books, they were basically, everything was black and white, but they decided to recreate the original stories again. Um, they're still the same storyline inside, but they're different front covers. And David Finch is one of my favorite covers. And this is the first appearance of Michonne. So I'm definitely going to pick this one up. Sometimes you just buy books. When I buy books, I buy them because I want to read them because they catch my interest. If they skyrocket in price, um, great. But I still, I, I buy the books because I've been reading comic books basically my whole life. And I read these books. That's the main cover. And here's one of this. Um, this is cover B. I think I'm going to pick this one up too. Like I said, it's the first appearance of Michonne, so I'm gonna pick this one up. And I have the original cover for um, this book. I won it in a raffle on Instagram, and I'll show it next to you. I was I won it last summer, so um, my uh, niece uh, Clara. I mentioned this before, um, but she picked the winning uh, number for me, and I won this book. So I'll show it to you, Clara. Thanks a lot again. <laughs> uh, next up is uh, Walking Dead number 18. Stillwater number nine by Skybound Comics. Manifest Destiny number 45. All these books that I've been showing, these recent books are just one cover to them. So you don't have to guess on what the other covers are gonna be. Uh, Firepower number 13, um, this is uh, the next story that after The Walking Dead finished, this story, the, the writer is uh, Robert Kirkman, the creator of uh, The Walking Dead. Dynamite Comics, uh, Vampirella number 23, this is the main cover. Um, here's a couple of uh, subsequent covers. This is cover N by Shannon Mayer. Pick one more here. Uh, let's check this one out. This is cover J, a one in 40 Mastrazo. Barbarella number one. I don't believe this is the main cover. This is cover P by Chu. Uh, let me see if I can find the main cover. Here we go. Here is the main cover right here. And below are uh, subsequent covers. Quite a few here for this one. Um, red Sonia, black, white, red, number one. I don't think that's the main cover, but I could be wrong. Um, no, I think it is the main cover. Although, here's the main cover, I apologize. And here is a uh, cosplay virgin cover. 
Essentia number seven by Wake Entertainment. You Promise Me Darkness number four by Behemoth Comics. This is cover C, uh, but this is the main cover right here. And this is cover B. Clicked on it twice. Um, Zorro Flights number one by American Mythology. This is the main cover here. Robin Hood Goldilocks Annual number one by Zenoscope. This is cover B, but this is the main cover right here. All right, we're almost done. Uh, another Zenoscope Bell Dragon Clan Annual number one. This is cover B. This is the main cover, and there's a dragon right behind her. Uh, you know me and dragons. I think I'm going to pick this one up. <laughs> so, Van Helsing versus Invisible Woman Annual Number One. This is cover B. And here is the main cover. And here is cover B. I like this cover, I just noticed it. Looks like this is the main character right here, but it looks like it's raining, and you can see from the raindrops, you see the part of the invisible woman right here. If you can see that, and she's choking Van Helsing. That's a pretty cool looking cover. I think I may pick this one up. Robin Hood 2021 Swarm Annual Number One. This is a cover C, and here is the main cover. Like I said, going through these books um, individually, I pay more attention to them. And it, I've usually some books I may miss, but since I've been doing these monthly videos, I've been, like I said, I pay a closer attention of all the books. This is Possessive Number One by Zenoscope. This is cover B. And here is the main cover. Rivers of London. Monday, Monday number one. This is by Titan Books. This is cover B. And here is the main cover. Titan Books, Life is Strange, Coming Home number one. This is cover B by Leonardi. I'm not sure, but you can see the reflection off this main character right here. But Either these two other characters are too far away from the water so you don't see them, but all you see is one of them in this cover of this book. And here is the uh, main cover to this series. V.E. Schwab's Extraordinary Number 2. This is by Titan Books. This is cover C. And um, here is the uh, main cover. V.E. Schwab's Extraordinary... Oh, I already showed this one, sorry. <laughs> so then I click on sites twice and I don't notice. Uh, Minky Woodcock, The Girl Who Electrified Tesla, number four. This is cover C. This is cover... Um, this is the main cover. And this is uh, cover B. Doctor Who Missy number four. This is cover C. And here we go with the uh, main cover. Blade Runner 2029 uh, Titan Books number six. This is cover C. This is the main cover. And this is cover B. Um, okay, let's show this one. Dynamite, this is Deja Thoris versus John Carter, number one. Main, uh, this is uh, cover B. Here's all the other covers. Let me choose this one. Cover um, M.
Deja Doris versus John Co John Carter number one. Oops, I showed this one. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Betty Page, The Curse of Banshee number two. This is cover E. Uh, let me see if I can find the main cover here. Um, there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Um, cover B. Virgin. Nope. Can't find the main cover. It's here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here's the main cover. Sorry about that. This one is Gods of Brutality number one. So these are basically most of the books that are coming out um, in July. I just wanted to show you some of them. Obviously, everyone's going to make their own determination. If they like the book, um, if they want to purchase it, it's entirely up to you. Um, hopefully this will give you a little bit of a better idea of what you want to do, uh, which comic books you want to purchase. So once again, this is Passpoint One Comics. Everybody, please be safe and take care of yourselves out there. Until next month.